Hey guys, so this is here bringing you another video. Welcome back to Iron to Master Return Diamond 4 70 LP playing Brand Mid. And you'll be like, why are you playing Brand Mid? So Brand just recently got a couple buffs. The bigger one was his ultimate, and I'll explain that when we get in game. But we're kind of going into this video be like, can Brand and is Brand going to be a viable mid laner again? Unfortunately for me, we're in a pretty rough matchup. We're against a Fizz, who is obviously quite known for killing immobile mages, like Brand. Uh, but hopefully he'll be okay. I, I thought we were against an Akali, and I think the Akali matchup would have gone fine for me. But here is the game. So it's like a low diamond game with a little bit of platinum. Smurf, Zac on our team. Um, two AD carries in bot lane, but whatever. I, I think Olaf will probably have an easy lane versus Akali. She just got stomped. Autofill jungler, support main. This person doesn't play Fizz, so hopefully we'll be okay. But uh, yeah, this video is just kind of trying to aim, you know, and answer the question. Brand mid. Coda with a gifty sub, Ethan. Much Coda. Appreciate it. All right, let's play some League of Legends. New skin, by the way, or new, well, his latest skin. Pretty cool. You know Suka as well with a gifty sub, Ethan. Much you know. Why do I have the KDA music on? Oh, is it because Seraphine's out? It might be because Seraphine's now out, so they're like doing a thing. I'm like really not hyped for Seraphine at all. Like, holy moly. It's the world's theme? Oh. Okay. Question of the day. Are you hyped for Seraphine? Even Twitch chat you can answer right now. Are you hyped for her or no? I'm really not. The whole Twitch chat, nope. <laughs> really? Like, no one is. Damn. I have not seen one. Okay, what? I've seen one yes. I've seen about 30, 40 no's and one yes so far. Holy moly. Honestly, like, yeah, they had the marketing for the champion, which I still find a bit weird. I just think her kit's just too similar. Like, it's not... It's nothing's new. Like, when a new champion comes out, I always go, Oh, what new mechanics are they adding to the game? Nothing in her whole kit feels new. Kind of just boring. I think more people will like her, the champion not for her kit, if you get my drift. More people will be playing and liking Seraphine because of the character over the gameplay. Where I think gameplay should be more important than the character. Oh. I do like Brand a lot, by the way. He's cool. Ha. Oh, that's one of the changes. His E now spreads to a lot more things. That's cool. Oh, that feels so much better. Whoa. That feels a lot better. Oh dear. Again, a Lucian lane losing isn't great. Just keep auto, just keep auto, auto, auto. That's so much better. Damn. Olaf's dead. Can he get a kill before he dies? No. Bye, Olaf. Again, he should pretty much stomp that lane in the 1v1. Fizz has used all of his corrupting potions. This is going to be pushing into me again. Very easy way of telling. Count how many red minions, count how many blue. The more red minions there are, the less blue minions, the faster it's going to push. That's a very basic way of knowing. That's so cool! Pengu with a gifty sub, then much Pengu. Hmm. 
What build up again? I guess I'm going just going Ludens. Don't know what else I'd want to go. Like, yeah. What's that jungle Vi? Oh god. I'm dead. Uh, that was a really badly timed ganked. I was wanting to push it one more wave and then go back. Oh, that sucks. Vi is doing some work. Again, I am an immobile mage against the Vi and a Fizz, so this is... Uh... This is gonna be interesting. Rod? Mm, nah. Tim's gonna go Ludens. Ludens into Leandri. Wait, what? Is there a change that I'm... Oh, she even did Dragon. God damn. This Vi is doing a... As he can. This Vi is doing a lot of work. Um, a big thing. So why is, by the way, Brand potentially back in mid? I hear people asking if you've not read the patch notes or watched my video. Uh, the big thing is his ultimate. Uh, so the ultimate always used to be terrible in a 1v1. Because obviously if you're in directly against someone in a 1v1, you throw your ultimate, it's got nowhere to bounce to. It's just going to disappear and basically do very little damage. Um, the new ultimate can bounce off Brand himself. I was expecting that. Um, so yeah, it can bounce off Brand himself. So when you're standing in a 1v1, it's going to be bouncing off you and then it means that it at least has somewhere to go. Um, which is a really good change. So that's really good. Nice. Hopefully double kill. There's three people top lane. Jesus. They really want it all off. Again, the enemy comp kind of sucks. They've got two assassins, so grouping later should probably just win us the game. Especially that I'm Brand. I'm like the grouping god. If we don't group later and we don't win that way, I'm going to be very disappointed. Oh my god. It bounces, yeah. The priority of it is enemy champions first, then you as brand, and then minions. Be kind of cool if it, like, buffed brand by him getting hit by fire or something. That would be cool. It doesn't do that, though. Be cool if it did. So this lane fa- oh. What? This Fizz has a, well, it's a Fizz playstyle. That Fizz, uh, he mucked up. Also, the bounce. Guys, did you see? I, I'm pretty sure, nice. Did the ultimate bounce back to me and then bounce to kill the, fi the, the Fizz? So it, we've already seen it working, right? See? It's been buffed. Brand mid. He can actually 1v1 things. To be fair, the Fizz kind of inted that, but still. <laughs> Yeah, the Fizz might not even know. Who knows? But yeah, Olaf, again, he should be winning the 1v1. Um, Makali doesn't really belong in top lane. Oh. Damn. Um, this Fizz is so boring.
My god, dude. He's like, he literally just. It's how you have to play this champion. But he has. He gets his ult off cooldown and then is like, right, time to do it. Oh. Well, that's bad. Damn it. Close. Meh. Unfortunate fight that the problem that we've got oh hello. Uh squishiness in the early game. We scale well. Like hell, as even as brand, I actually get quite tanky with my build. Leandri and Riley are part of my natural build. I get a lot of health. Hey, Creeper. But yeah. Enemy team has to play really aggressive this game because their comp naturally falls off compared to ours. Mainly because of the double assassins. Double assassin just doesn't work very well if you don't snowball. Kind of expecting them to be like looking for me here somewhere. Nice. By bot lane. Fizz might be going down. He is going down. Oh dear. I did warn them. Uh, I'm not even going to get there. Akali even teleported for that, by the way. We don't need to take these fights in the early game, man. Why am I getting pinged? Fizz is coming mid. What? They have no defense to Olaf right now. Because Akali did a really weird TP. But then I would predict there's going to be Fizz and Vi going top lane, logically. Sanguine Blade? What? Can we stop this? I don't mind. Did we get the dragon? We didn't get the dragon though. Attack him! Volusian? Oh my god, that was bad by him. Jesus! Why didn't he just finish them, like, straight away? Woo! Why am I getting pinged? I did so much damage! This Zaka's like a stick up his butt. Frozo game, six months of Prime, let's go. Thanks for all the content. No problem, my dude. Hola. Well then. <laughs> Fizz, I think, has landed one ultimate. Maybe two. Oh, Toro, Toro. He's dead. I don't know if the flash was incredibly worth it. Fizz is now bot lane. Fizz is like... Well, Vide's not bad in strength, but... Fizz is the main strength of the game. But again, just group up and you'll be fine. Fizz is coming below me. Fizz is still bot lane. This is odd. I guess I just keep pushing it up. I, I like I'm getting free farm, by the way. 
Without, like, Brand, I would imagine his weakness against a Fizz especially is going to be lane phase. So this is not bad for me at all. Mm. I just want to get to teamfight stage and I'll be happy, boy. Basically. <laughs> Olaf has to be careful, man. This fizz. <laughs> Holy moly. Uh. Oh. Okay. I'm surprised that hit. Yeah, Olaf. This Olaf is um. Basically inting. Like, he is just... I'm split pushing without putting any vision down. The end. It's like, yeah... Even Brand agrees. Zach used passive for a double kill. Pretty good. Fizz. This this Fizz's play style to me, he's definitely going bot lane. Yep, there he is. He's very predictable, this Fizz, because he's just all about kills, which, again, naturally, it's a Fizz. If Fizz isn't about kills, they're kind of playing Fizz wrong, you know? If she's running down, there's probably a Vi. Yep. Again, it's really predictable. The Olaf just doesn't think while he's playing. You gotta think while you play, bud. There's only one reason that she's running that way. Safety. Blade of the Rune King Rush. I don't think it's, I've seen an Ash do that in a long time. You can't contain these summoner. Right, I'm going to go back. Let's go back before Dragon. I thought the Nort... What? I thought the normal Ash build at the moment was like crit, no? Like, or is it not? Like Essence Reaver. Alright, I'm on my way. Don't fight without me, guys. I'm the big team fight. Damage. Depends on the game. Yeah, I guess. Alright. Oh, no, you're... I'm not even there! Oh, God! Hopefully they don't feed... Imagine my ult in there. Why did they fight without me, dude? Like, what? I, I was on my way. <laughs> what? I'm so confused. We, like, we did, we won the fight, but like, damn, we could have actually annihilated it. And by the way, that Fizz, if you're wondering, he was looking for me. He, he was engaging on the Lucian to try and get closer to me, I'm pretty sure. So worth noting, that was a bad team fight from us, and we still owned it. Imagine if I was there when the Zack engaged. No, this, this, again, two assassins just don't work in, the, in a comp very well together. They get countered very easily. One assassin, you might lose track of them in a team fight. Two of them, it's, they just get owned by the, the AoE damage going on. Yeah, that Fizz really wants me. It, <laughs> enough that the Lucian was like, hey, free kill. I'll take that. Oh, my back. But yeah, so far, how does Brand feel? Con considering we're against one, I would say, one of his biggest counter matchups, a, a Fizz, who is known for killing immobile mages, 
Honestly, he feels pretty good. Doesn't feel bad. I don't feel out of place, which I think that would be like the big thing. Do, like, does it feel like I'm playing a support just in, in mid? No. Doesn't. It really doesn't. Which is good. He dead again. Oh, never mind. He's going to kill a double kill. Life steal. No, he didn't. Oh, he got one, though. That's not too bad. That's better than I expected, I'm going to be honest. Ugh. Ash got a small buff this patch, too. Her W. Mid in mid to late game, she gets more arrows. Oh, the stun landed after an auto attack. What? Okay. Well, no. It looked like she got stunned, but still got the auto off. Uh, whatever. How long will this season last? I think there's like two more weeks to go. Which I'm going to be honest, I'm very thankful that this season is coming to an end. Um, I honestly would say, and this is going to maybe be surprising for some people... This has been my least favorite season of League of Legends. Um, so I'm very excited that it's coming to an end. And by the way, it's my least favorite. And that includes Season 6 Dynamic U. Season 9... Was it Season 9 where the broken MMR? Both of those are included. I think this season has been worse. The game quality, the amount of levers, rages... It's been horrible. I've really not, like, I've been enjoying playing the video game. I've not been enjoying my experience in-game. Does that make sense? Hopefully that makes sense. Burn, baby, burn. Just go with Oh, are you serious? That hit me. Burn, baby, burn. Disco and burn up, burn, baby. Why? Control wards? Uh, can I show you guys brand in team fights? Welcome to brand. And this is why this comp is just not going to work. Oops, I did the combo wrong. Ash, just don't. Ash, buddy, just let us have it. Oh. Are you crazy? Did Zack smite the Akali? I got them both. I think the Zack smited the Akali... Also, that was a lot of damage by Brand, by the way. That was a nice double kill. But what? I, I'm I'm legit. I, I am convinced the Zack smited the Akali. Because, like, it was after a team fight by quite a while, he would have had smite up. So I'm pretty sure he literally smited the Akali as she teleported in. That's really bad. Holy... I did the damage. Yay! Okay. Fizz was just waiting in this bush for me, by the way. But I still... I managed to do my job. I flashed in and did a buttload of damage. Hell yeah. Screw you, Fizz. Riley next. That's a really good dragon steal. Any chance of doing... I will be doing Victor on PBE. But I don't even know if new... I they, they took... They keep taking the new items away from the PBE. And then putting them back on. And then I don't know if they're back on the PB at the moment. Rakan could ult that. Oh, why? That was so late. Okay, they get the kill. No, they don't get that. Oh, I'm coming. No, I'm not. 
Is any add you support viable? Well, apparently that's what the buff was for. Um. Again, people are going to try it, obviously. Mm. Interesting. Do, 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 do. Olaf, don't overstay more, buddy. Again, th this game, I, great example. This is like low diamond, which again isn't crazy rating. But this game quality feels incredibly low. Like, incredibly low. I don't know, dude. I should have just let him die. These people just like completely like being alone. If we group up, do I need to turn on chat and just tell them a very basic thing that diamond players should know? Because that's but the biggest thing that it feels like that's happened in this season is the knowledge of the game has gone in the toilet. That like even when on my main account when we were in Diamond 2, nearing I think Diamond 1 this season, even in that rating, the game felt like no one knows what they're doing. Which is really weird. So, that's been a big thing to me anyway. That, like, just people don't really know what's going on. I'm just gonna go mid- Like, again, Olaf doing a split push build against two assassins. That also kinda- That- That's dumb. <laughs> like, he do why are you doing a split push build when they have two assassins? Naturally, grouping counters assassins to do a grouping build. Stuff like that. It just doesn't really make logical sense anymore for the rating, you know? We're gonna lose this game and this game's really free as well oh well it's honestly hilarious that we're gonna lose this game um, let's do that if they just grouped and protected me, I think we'd win the game, by the way. Oh, well. Olaf should just go tank. Because if I if they got, like, protect me a bit... Like, if you guys saw earlier, I one-shot two people. I can kill the whole enemy team, but it's just like my team has no idea that I can. This would be really good if we can get something here. Oh god. That gives us dragon priority. Leona's gonna be dead for it. Right, guys, do not die. They're a man down. For dragon. This is what we need. We get dragon soul. Just like, wait. Look for a pick. They're going to just push mid, but they're not going to be quick enough. No, we need to keep dragon priority. We can base after. It's so important that we get soul. We can go over to Baron maybe after. But dragon soul lasts the rest of the game. Baron doesn't. I'm fine with that, honestly. Alright. Now we can even look for the fight, by the way. Yeah, yeah. That's fine. We can fight. We can fight. We can fight. The enemy team is going to back out, which is smart by them. Our base, by the way. Okay. That's fine. Wait out the Baron, and we've got Infernal Soul. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, he's lived. Oof. Woo, God. 
I need level 16, but getting solo XP is really hard. Wait, we don't have soul. Oh, God, we don't have soul. I thought that was soul. Oh, well, okay. Oh, wait, what happened? How didn't we have soul? Oh, I guess we just didn't get one that I thought we did. Oh, well, that was third. It's, that's still good. I'd still say actually worth. As long as that with their current Baron buff, they just don't win the game off the current Baron buff. It's fine. Just group up. Stay grouped. He honestly should sell Sanguine Blade. It's not really going to be very good itemization now. Because maybe the Olaf has learned that oh, I need to group this game. I hate Akali. <laughs> oh, we got outskilled by an Akali, guys. <laughs> oh, God. I hate that champion. I think we actually lose the game. Unfortunately. Yeah, no, Akali was really... Like, yeah, Akali, by the way, at the time was 2-5. and five. Still basically one-shots everybody. Oh, well, we're going to lose the game. I think I'll still upload this um, because, honestly, brand felt fine. Farm was a bit low and XP was low because, again, the answer to this game was grouping, but I honestly think we just did it too late. And I will say the bigger thing that I think probably cost us the game, probably people will agree, um, the Baron Steel. Ooh, the game's not over. Uh, if we got that Baron, we would have had momentum, and we would have probably been able to, like, use the momentum to win the game. But I think the Zaku smite on an Akali. That's a very big deal. Um, so without, without that Baron steal, I think we would have won the game. Because, again, a lot of League of Legends is momentum. Do you have the momentum to continue pushing with your team fight and keep moving forward? That whole Baron, the first steal, just completely took away all that we had. You know? Because I think even most of the enemy team even got the Baron buff because they all respawned. It was like, oh. See, so yeah, that was really bad. And it, that was kind of, if you notice, when the game started to turn a little bit, that was when the game started to kind of go poof. Was that Baron steal? Who knows? Again, it's going to be very unlikely that we win this game, but if we win every single team fight from now on, we, we can. We need to win this a team fight around here, and then we need to win one more team fight in their base, and then we could win the game, basically. But the damage from Brand feels good. I will say that. Did the damage from Brand always feels good? When he says support, it feels good. It, again, if we get dry, the soul as well, maybe. Soul would be a big deal. We have to fight for it. Again, someone on the enemy team might just try backdoor, but... Yeah. Ah, uh, Vi's got GA. Well, that Vi build is tanky. Maybe in that bush? Why did you ult? You can't what the? Summoner. Why did he ult? Well, we have to fight it. Fizz is behind us, by the way. Uh oh. That's bad. Oh, I got completely chain CC'd. Can't do anything. Ash Arrow, Vial, and Leona. Oh well. 
Uh, we lose. God, we got owned. Literally, we got owned. See, okay, there's the negative of brand mid. Immobile. No flash up. Nothing you can do. I had to be relevant in that situation enough that I could get my ultimate off if they engaged and, like, and didn't ash arrow me. And at the same time, I couldn't fall completely back. Why? Because there was a fizz behind us. So that was really unfortunate. I think I played okay overall. Uh, it was just a hard game. Uh, that, that should have been a victory. Again, a two assassin comp. That should have been an easy victory. And as I've said, if we got the Baron, I think we would have won, just won the game. But we didn't get the Baron, so whatever. Uh, we went 11, 8, 9, uh, lost 21, and damage-wise dealing uh, just the most damage on my team. Enemy team obviously doing overall more damage than us. They, they had a more damage-based comp. Um, and yeah, the momentum shift was really unfortunate. Really unfortunate that we lost that Baron, but it's fine. It happens. Uh, Ash, by the way, doing a surprising amount of damage, to be honest. I didn't actually think she was doing that much, but she did. Um, but that is a brand mid. Um, honestly, yeah, I, I think it might be a thing, but my advice, I blind picked this. It bl blind picked it first pick this game, I think. Did I? I think I did. Um, well, I didn't know. Put it this way. I picked before a fizz did. And... Uh, Maybe don't do that. I did it because I just wanted to play brand mid and just see what it felt like. But maybe only do it if you know, oh, it's another mage in mid lane. That might be fine. Uh, but yeah, against a Fizz, not the best matchup. We did okay. We got a solo kill and stuff. But yeah, uh, we could have won this game if a couple different pieces of the pie kind of was in different places. The Baron, the Olaf not doing a split push build, stuff like that. But it's fine. If you guys enjoyed, nonetheless, do throw a like on the video, throw a comment, throw a subscribe. See you guys next time. Peace.